All right. Hi, everyone. It's 1030 on the dot, and I still see a few people logging in here. So we will give them about 30 more seconds to join and get settled in, and then we'll get started. All right. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to our weekly webinar series. And with today's agenda, we are back to our regularly scheduled program. Um, so we have a packed agenda of both marketing and merchandising tips and updates. Um, today, you have myself, Danielle Diaz, and Alicia Sorelli. We're going to be talking marketing. And then you have Chad Evans with us as well, giving the merchandising updates. So we know everybody's time is valuable, especially right now. Um, so the webinar will be to the point and filled with a bunch of value added info. Um, if you've been tuning in for the last few webinars, you all know the drill before we get started. I like to remind everyone that we have the chat box feature available for this webinar to take questions as they pop into your head. So feel free at any time to write in to us. We will try to address them as the webinar um, continues and as they make sense. And we will definitely save time at the end to cover all the questions that come through as well. So um, make sure you know where that live chat box is. Say hi, let us know you're out there um, and we'll get started. All right. So lately we've been communicating the importance of keeping your Google My Business listing up to date. And today we have some updated um, information that we wanna pass along to you guys. And some of the most important things and tips and tricks that you need to be doing right now to manage your listing properly. Um, so before I kind of dive into those recommendations, I want to make sure that everybody is on the same page with what a Google My Business listing is. Um, so we often refer to it as GMB, and these are the business listings that pop up after you've Googled something like appliance store open now or an actual business name. I'm going to jump out and show you an example here. This is... Um, a GMB or a business listing for one of our local appliance retailers local to me. So um, it houses all of the important location information for businesses and the listing can totally be managed by you or by us on your behalf. And it is extremely critical to the consumer journey and to your advertising efforts. It's basically the foundation of everything that we do when it comes to marketing. Um, and if your listing isn't correct or optimized, you could be missing out. So it's a really important um, piece of the puzzle that we wanted to touch on today. Um, so a couple important things to note right now. Uh, as you can imagine, Google is inundated with requests for GMBs um, to update them and keep them current. Um, so they may be delayed when making these updates. Um, if you're trying to make an update and not seeing it move, um, loop us in. We've had a couple of instances where we've had an automatic update made that wasn't supposed to be made, or we've had um, multiple people trying to make an update um, to adjust something. And for some reason, it seems to move faster if we have a few hands um, in the mix. So I don't know if that's a fluke or what, but we are here to help. So if you are trying to make an update and not seeing any movement, please, please, please let us know so that we can help out. Um, second, another really important piece of the GMB right now is the list over here on the right hand side of things that are currently unavailable. Um, so I mentioned last week that GMBs are on GMB reviews, excuse me, GMB reviews are unavailable. So the next best place to go for a 
customer to uh, tell you how they're feeling, good or bad, is your social profile. So make sure that you are prepared to answer questions through those channels and don't let a review go unacknowledged. Um, shameless plug coming at you. If you missed last week's webinar, check it out in the back room for tips and tricks on social. Um, so make sure that you are there, you're available. A great opportunity, we don't have a slide for this, but another great opportunity and a bit of GMB functionality is also the text messaging feature that is available through GMB. So we've been talking a lot about chat on a website, um, on our website solutions. The text messaging feature through GMB does not replace the need for that, but it's another great way to be available and connect with consumers, and it's free. So we recommend that if you can turn that function on, you do so, or at least look into exploring that function. So before I transition into a few more pointers on GMB, just another quick reminder about that chat. If you have a question, pop it in there, um, and we'll move on to temporary store closures and hours. Um, hours are uber important right now. There's a couple of different ways that you can communicate hours through your GMB and get the customers the information that they need right now. So many consumers are searching and looking to see if you're open. Um, if you are not open or operating reduced hours, you can flag your Google My Business listing to communicate that to the consumer. Um, what we would recommend and what you need to be extremely careful of is if you are operating online and taking phone calls and chat, a temporary closed flag um, could deter people from reaching out. So just make sure that um, you're very calculated in using this temporary closure flag, but it is available if you choose to use it. Um, what you can do instead of a temporary closure is adjust your business hours if you are operating on reduced business hours or uh, throughout the week or certain days are closed now that weren't before. Um, and you can manage your information. Um, so there are notes and other opportunities on the GMB itself for you to have comments, um, update information, and Alicia is going to talk to us about how we can manage information on GMB. Are you there, Alicia? You ready? Yes. Send it over. Perfect. Thanks, Danielle. Um, so as Danielle was talking about, there's quite a bit of information available on GMB that's front and center to your consumers when they're searching for you online. So it's really important right now to make sure that all of your business information is true and correct and that everything's updated to reflect the current status of your business. Um, ours is a really big one. Um, making sure that if you are offering faster delivery or pickup, curbside pickup, things like that, that it's showcased. Um, so one of the majorly important aspects of your Google My Business info is the business categories. So you can see right here under Freeman's Appliance, it says Appliance Store in Pleasant Hill. Um, that's a primary category. So we do want to make sure that you guys know that there are multiple categories and um, then also secondary categories as well that are really important for local SEO. So if you are an appliance store or a furniture store, um, make sure that you have that primary category notched. If you don't know how to do that, we can help you. Um, but that is really important for making sure that when people are searching for things like appliance store near me that you are popping up. Um, Another really big element is if you do do service, make sure that that is managed in your information on your GMB. If service is a big part of your business, it's really important to make sure that it's in that category. So you'll have the ability to set a primary category, which for a lot of you guys will be appliance store, furniture store or something similar. Um, and then those additional categories are things like appliance service, or um, maybe if you're an appliance store, but you also sell electronics, it can be a secondary category, but making sure that your primary and secondary categories are set uh, for the types of search terms that people are actually looking for your business is absolutely vital now and always. Um, just because when people are searching for local businesses, 
it's Google's signal to let um, let them know that you're there and available for those types of categories. Moving on to the next slide. So this is a relatively new feature and this is a really important thing. So very recently, Google allowed the opportunity to create a post um, that's COVID-19 related. Um, you can see right here, here's a great example. It says from the owner. So it allows you to um, basically put an update front and center on what's currently going on with your store. If you guys are doing anything differently, maybe you're doing that curbside pickup or sanitized delivery, things like that, or that your hours have changed, but you're reachable by phone. You're allowed to create a post, it's super easy. You just jump right in, go to post, and then there's a little button that says COVID-19 and it'll show front and center on your GMB. And it'll allow you to put a message related to the current climate right there so that it's really easily accessible when people are looking for you. Um, so like it kind of highlights here. So if your business is operating differently or if you're doing pickup, delivery, calls, uh, make sure that that's highlighted so it's really, really easy for them to find. Um, if you don't know how to do that, we can do that for you, um, no charge to you. We just wanna make sure that whatever the changes that your business needs online that are, you know, it's front and center for your customers. So whether you guys wanna do that or you want us to handle that for you, we highly, highly recommend that you make an update that showcases what's currently going on in your store or stores, making it really, really easy for the consumer to know what's up with your business right now. Awesome. Thanks, Alicia. Um, we have some questions coming through. It looks like we need some how-to guides, guides on how to update primary, secondary categories, as well as um, turning on the text feature. So um, we will get that over to all of you guys following this webinar, some how-to guides so that you can manage it yourself. If you don't feel like managing it yourself, just like Alicia had mentioned, um, we can manage it for you. So reach out to your accounting team um, if you don't know who those are, email marketing at abb.net. Um, so keep chatting in. I see some questions coming through now, some additional questions, but we are going to do a quick transition over to Chad um, with a city card program update and a beauty rest CERTA update as well. All right, thank you. Um, just real quick, as many of you know, a couple of weeks ago, we announced there was a 12 month program on the Brand Source City Card that was gonna run the entire month of April. And we're proud to announce that there's an 18 and 24 month offer. This has been sent out uh, within the last couple of days. So hopefully everybody's had a chance to see this. But if you're seeing this for the first time, I'll just give a high level of the details. Um, starts on April 4th and runs through um, 15th of May. So there's a long period of time there. And then on top of that, you can see there's heavily discounted rates on the 18 and 24 month. It's about a 3% savings across the board. Um, so this should be good for dealers that are doing multi-category. Um, the 24 month offer and 18 is very strong in furniture and mattress. So we're excited about this. And so if you have any questions about this, um, this, this sheet is posted in the back room. Um, or you can reach out to your brand source representative and they can help you uh, make sure that you know where this is. So, um, and then the next thing, I uh, just wanted to update everybody that are in the mattress space that are currently carrying Beautyrest or CERTA. Um, we as an organization have worked closely with them as partners to try and develop programs to help during this tough time. And we are happy to announce that they've come out with uh, an assortment of SKUs where there's a pretty strong discount both at retail and at wholesale where you can um, display these products on your website or potentially bring them into your store for those that are open with uh, limited hours. But really this is going to be a heavy online focus for us. And yesterday we were able to get um, all the products and we're in the process of getting those loaded onto into Link. And so that those dealers that are CERTA or Beautyrest dealers can take advantage of these savings. Um, the program started the first part of uh, April, so just recently, and goes all the way through the 30th of June. So if you are a CERTA or Beautyrest uh, dealer, reach out to your, your rep, your manufacturer rep, and they should be able to help you locate the price sheet and the information for this. And then on top of that, 
Um, like I said, we will have these posted on in link so that you can update your websites with this product, um, heavy discount and heavy wholesale savings on that. So um, just trying to, to make it as easy as possible to transact online during this time when uh, many consumers are not going into stores. So like I said, if you have any questions, please reach out to your CERTA or Beauty Rest representative and they should be able to help kind of navigate this. And then you can also reach out to your account manager in Sacramento and those should be loaded in link uh, very soon. And that's, that's it for me. Awesome, thanks Chad. Um, so we do have a few more questions. We'll open the floor to anything else that pops into your head, but um, we have, our first question is, how can I tell if I have access to my GMB? Um, we ha there will be an unclaimed listing flag on any unclaimed listing. I think the easiest way is to reach out to your account team. We have a list of access that we already um, have GM claimed GMBs for. Um, so if you're wondering what level of permissions you have or if we have access to help you out or um, if your listing may be unclaimed, we can help you. Um, so just go ahead and shoot us an email, give us a ring, and we'd be happy to look into it. Um, the next question is, does the GMB text feature function like chat on a website? Um, uh, there are some limitations. So you can, one of the limitations is you cannot put an away message on there. So the website offers an away message um, with an email capture. Um, the GMB text function does not. So it's either on or off. So you need to be prepared to answer those questions as they come through when it's on. Um, but it is a simple text. So um, it's pretty easy to use. Anyone can man it. They just need to be ready to respond. And then the last question I see in here is, do we know all of the categories that are available for the GMB listing? Um, we can grab that for you. Um, we will also make sure to include this in our how-to guide so that you can see the pick list. It's a drop-down menu right in that inside dashboard for the GMB. Um, and then there's a free fill, field, free fill field as well. So you can type in um, other categories that may be missing from the list, but we will include all of that in that how-to guide. Um, so, no more questions I see on the merchandising front. I think we've wrapped it up for today. Um, just another quick reminder, the recording of this webinar and the slide deck will be in the back room. Um, and we are here to help anytime. Reach out to us, your account team is there for you. If you don't know who that is, please email us, marketingabb.net, and we'll get you connected. Um, and we will talk again very soon. So thank you for your time today and uh, see you Thursday for an update. All right, bye-bye.